Having a 3D printer isn't always perfect. Let me show you some of the problems I encountered with mine. One of the first things that may frustrate you as you get into 3D printing is drooping filament. Now, a lot of this can be alleviated by creating supports for your project, but what I've come to find out is this doesn't always work. And this is exactly what happened with that arbor guard that I tried to create for my track saw, as it was so small that I couldn't even create supports for it. Another important thing to consider if you're using a multicolor 3D printer is choosing the correct colors for your project. If we look at the the two squares I created, you can see that the color choice wasn't exactly perfect, as it's very hard to read some of those markings. It's also very important to not give up on a design if it fails. Since there's usually multiple designs of the same product, if one fails on you, you should try another. And this is exactly what happened to me when I tried to make that one, two, three block. You also need to be aware that sizing isn't always exactly accurate. This is especially important when working with things like bench dogs. And finally, probably my most important advice is to grab some rubbing alcohol. If you don't clean the plate on your 3D printer regularly, you're going to end up with some designs that are going to stick to that plate. And finally, just realize that some designs just don't work. In fact, two of the designs that I was most excited to print out, I tried to print out multiple times and I just couldn't get them to work.